Hare Krishna Hare Krishna
wanted to say something. Um, if you if you want to know, uh, this morning we uh, we had some already some very nice uh, explanation about sound and and we did some meditations which was very uh, nice <laughs> and um, yeah I, w I just wanted to not say really so much because um, I'm also not really qualified to say anything uh, um, but I want to share a little bit of my realizations uh, that I had um, and some insights that maybe some uh, of you can appreciate and we can use it for our uh, benefit to uh, connect more with, with our heart and the person who is living in our heart that's ourselves with Krishna so we, um, we experienced the, the silent meditation and in this meditation I could hear so many sounds going everywhere in all directions there was sound up down left right so sound is surround we are surrounded by sound and um, the trick or the most powerful thing is to surround ourselves with spiritual sounds in our lives because <laughs> Everything is um, resonating in this world. So what we do in, uh, in, in this chanting, we also, somebody is singing and other people are singing. This, so I, I sing one time the Maha Mantra and you also sing one time. And like this, it's like a resonance. So the, this can, can also continue throughout the universe. And when we sing, Prabhupada says, when you chant, it's not on the mental platform, it's not on the, on the material platform, it's, it's on the spiritual platform. So immediately we, we, we have to leave all our uh, material conceptions behind and remember that we are a spiritual soul and that we are actually have nothing to do with, with lower vibrations or the material world which is is not our state of being and I realized that this this way of chanting is like um, it, it is it is um, magnifying the, the sound the, the feeling so uh, for Krishna because it, it is chanting in separation actually we chant we, like Prabhupada says we have to cry like a baby we have to uh, pray or cry to Krishna and this is what we are doing when we chanting we, we are actually trying to to get the attention of Krishna by intensely feeling in separation and crying because when a child is separated from his mother, her mother, then there's uh, crying, so much crying, because why? Out of separation. So also we need to cultivate this mood. And we can only do that in a humble state of mind, which is also advised by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who says that if you want to continue with chanting, then we need to become as humble as a blade of grass and also more tolerant even than a tree I mean a tree is quite tolerable so we have to be even more tolerant um, that's correct English <laughs> tolerant yes right so I'm um, I'm, I'm just um, just gonna chant these uh, different tunes and what I like to ask you is to try and forget about what is going to happen tomorrow, forget about what has happened in the past, try to feel more connected 
with Krishna now in in this place in your actually Krishna is in our heart it's really it's really there and only uh, Maya that is there is that we are think that we think ourselves separated from him so it is never that we are separated of course we feel it we feel some separation but this is this is because separation is the highest ecstasy actually so Krishna gives us the opportunity to feel this most blissful uh, feeling of separation. Of course, when we come to Krishna and and we unite with Him again, then there's also a lot of bliss. But you know all that when we are uh, we are in love, and you have to separate. You know, it's very be beautiful time when you are together. But when you are separated from each other then the feeling of love is even more strong and powerful so saying we should now because we think ourselves separate from Krishna we, we should use that so we can use Maya actually now to connect with Krishna so in this way we can we can do um, we could we could even uh, use our disadvantage to our advantage if you understand what I'm trying to explain so because many times we think that it's impossible you know, uh, to reach Krishna and because there are so many obstacles in, in our path and we have to you know we have to clean our heart continuously and there seems to be no end to all the dirt that's coming out from our heart. But for Krishna, it's very easy to take everything away at once. To purify our heart, it, it's, it can only actually be done by Krishna. But we should sincerely pray and, and ask Him to, to take uh, at least uh, take our hand and, and guide us, you know, towards Him. So we can pray in in while we are chanting the Maha Mantra. Of course, it's best to just absorb our mind and or in in the in the uh, sound vibrations and feel it also in our hearts. But if we cannot only absorb the mind, so then fo we can focus on different things. We could, could we can focus on Krishna's picture, and we can focus on the past time. But actually, this is this is uh, we try to push ourselves onto Krishna in this way. So th this is nice. This is a good way. But what I'm trying to say is that it should flow out from your heart automatically. Pictures and pastimes from pra from from Prabhupada or from Krishna or from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu they will manifest in our minds. It's not that. We have to do any endeavor because it, it, it's not it's not a fight. It's not a fight. We cannot fight it. We cannot fight with Maya because uh, Maya is like this um, this um, uh, swamp or uh, drive song. How do you say it? Quicksand. quicksand. So when we are in quicksand, what happens when you try to fight it? You even sink more deep, deeper and deeper away in in the sand. And so what I um, like to do is a practical experience of um, the Maha Mantra. So, so we can absorb ourselves and experience the uh, the form and the qualities, pastimes, names, attributes, spiritual world itself manifesting in our heart. Because Vrindavan is not only a place somewhere in India. Vrindavan is a mood. It's a feeling. It's a it's an atmosphere which you can create anywhere and Prabhupada proved that. 
where, wherever Prabhupada was going or wherever he was, he created this atmosphere. And Vrindava means also service. So what we are doing while we are chanting, we are also trying to chant in a serving mood. Not that we ask Krishna to do service for us, like, oh Krishna, uh, I want to have a better relationship, I want to have a better car, I want to have a better house, you know, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Because these are material things and they will, we lose our taste for chanting in this way. And it will, will it's, it's actually, um, an, uh, it's an, an apparat to do like that. Because it will take us away from service from Krishna. That means, apparat means going away from the service of Krishna. So if we go away from serving Krishna, then we know we get apparat. Because that is apparat, going away. Appa, Radha. Radha means Radharani or service to Krishna. This is an internal energy of Krishna which always serves. And so if you go up, up or up, uh, away from this service, we know we are doing something wrong. So we have to f see what is going on. Why, why I'm not getting service? Why I'm not feeling any devotion or feeling inspired to do some something for for Krishna? Think about him. And uh, this is um, very important to have this. Uh, serving mood that, that then we can we can relish also because when when we give happiness to Krishna automatically we feel happy too it's, it's very simple uh, example is the, the watering of the tree why are we not going to give water on every leaf and every branch because simply if we just give the roots of the tree water then automatically all the trees uh, uh, Three branches and leaves are, and even the fruits and the flowers from this tree can be watered immediately. So when we please Krishna, not automatically are we self-satisfied because we are part of, of Krishna, we are separate, we are not as separate as we think we are, but also the whole of the creation is satisfied. So we we doing the, the, the whole of the cosmic uh, manifestation also service in this way so we, we are we can we can try to uh, help people by serving them food giving them clothes uh, money for education this and that but what if they're not happy they cannot never become happy by only these things they need to they need to understand their relation with Krishna because this is really their nature and if, if we're not in in our uh, home or on our natural environment then we don't feel um, yeah we don't feel good like the fish is happy in the water if you take him out of the water nothing can make him happy so these are very powerful small examples that we all heard about but it is it is very um, very good to remember it and, and to to focus on them to, to see that actually yes it's it's a simple matter you know we just have to engage in the in the chanting and absorb ourselves and create this uh, environment of Vrindavan so we can invite Krishna to come by singing because he's he's pleased when he hears his own name so he likes to come where his devotees are chanting his holy name and there's so many names for Krishna um, but most of the time we are chanting this Maha Mantra because uh, this is the process for this age of Kali Yuga which is um, bereft of uh, real knowledge and real um, uh, yeah, of the, the good qualities and whenever we are um, chanting we come in contact with, with Krishna with Krishna's, um, the also he, because Krishna is never alone, so Krishna comes and then he brings the whole spiritual world with him. So uh, we have to be attentive because then we can we can really feel it, we can see it. 
in, in, in front of our own eyes. Okay, I think I've said a little bit too much already. So let's focus now on uh, the transcendental names and try to uh, connect with Krishna in our heart and cry like a little child is helpless. And when when the when when a little child is is really sincerely crying, then then the mother really knows. Oh, something really is wrong. I have to go now. But if if the, if, if the child is crying because he wants some attention or whatever, it's not really uh, an uh, urgency. Then the mother knows. You know. Oh, this is trying to get attention again. You know. <laughs> so we have to do not only. Uh, we have to do sincerely, not f no fake crying. This is not that's not gonna help. Because sometimes uh, you can see that uh, some of these uh, people in uh, India they put something in their eyes so they cry. You know, you see. And uh, <laughs> this is all fake. And, and we're not about fake. We are about real things here. So we try to uh, please Krishna by sincerely crying for service to, to his lotus feet and uh, we also ask Radharani to be mer merciful unto us and of course we have to go through our spiritual master and uh, Nitya, Nityananda Prabhu to get the mercy so we can uh, connect with Tataya Mahaprabhu and Krishna um, So I already chanted now the uh, Guru Prampra, I mean the Pranam mantra and Tanya. Now we can continue with the uh, Maha mantra.
Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 